Alright guys, time for the rematch on Dante's Peak. And spawning in the top right position as the White Zerg, Mr. Taitu, building his fifth drone. Let's see if he builds a sixth. And in the bottom right corner, it's Protoss and the yellow colors. And the drone Taiman. He's not building the drone. Oh my oh god. god. I love this man. Lancer X doing the honorable thing and allowing a regame, and Tai 2 doing the honorable thing and doing the same build. See, this is what should have happened in like that Nogrim vs. Eonzerg disconnect. They should have just regamed the same build. Guys, the honor. It's the, it's the perfect way of doing it, you know? I mean, if you're gonna regame, why not do exactly the same things? See, the only thing about that Eonzerg game though is it would have been perfectly fine and there would have been no drama whatsoever had Eon Zerg just not watched the replay. The fact he watched the replay completely destroyed everything. <laughs> well, I, I, no, I don't think I don't think that's really the issue though. I mean, somebody could have just told him what the builds were. Like, well, that too, yeah. I think I mean, watching I replay there is not the issue. And Nogrim would rather take the lose than do the same builds again. Yes, exactly. Nogram actually said, no, I won't do the same builds in a rematch. So, it's like, I'm definitely, you know. Anyway, anyway, anyway. That drama's already long gone. We're watching the five pool. Interestingly, Lats for X actually is in a better position here because he didn't have to send out the second probe scout. Uh, his first probe scout does go in the correct direction. So he's actually slightly better off than he was last game where he actually had to send the second probe to go and see this. He just quick... throws down his fours in a random position because yeah. it doesn't matter. I was gonna say there's two really weird things going on. There's also the forge and like the wall is just really strange. But also, uh, Tech Mirage, the third caster today, uh, joining us for today as well, is Cadenzi. So that is who the third person is. Yes, indeed. And Cadenza will be uh, joining me to co cast at the live finals in Italy, by the way, guys, for the. Uh for the $16,000 Italian Esports Open. Um, so we're getting some Can't casting practice in. Here comes the Zerglins down now. And the cannons will finish in time. It looks like. Yeah, the cannons will finish ages in time, I think. He's actually built the uh, first cannon further up this time. So he will be able to get the second cannon up this time rather than uh, needing to cancel it. But this pylon may actually go down. Oh man, Taitu realizes he can't quite get it. That was a little bit close, and a second cancel, uh, sorry, second cannon is cancelled. I'm still not like a huge fan of building the pylon in a mana position, so I can see the argument for this, which is uh, it's slightly better protected from the Zerglings with a, with a probe drill, and if you put it one to the left, it's a little bit more exposed, but... I um... think the real reason to do it is you can get your gateways with that one pylon. Oh. And if you build it like the pylon and your mineral line lower it would be really hard to get cut to get laser and protect the cannon. But you could build it like one to the left, no? Maybe. But then the top of your base would be open to the Zerglands Kelm Cannon. Hmm, maybe. Oh pro block, pylon block at the natural by the way, of the Zerg. Can you get another one? Uh well, that, that probe is so nearly dead. But probes have like him now. Wow. He just builds it at the uh, third hatchery location because, like, you know what? I don't need the, the minerals right away. I'm only going for one drone. This is tie two. Well, that first game he was only mining with one drone. It is not drilled the whole game anyway. Exactly. And these mineral patches on this map are the whole, like all the same size. And he will get that third hatchery in the normal position for his natural. So he's all good. No crazy things. And it looks like the... Oh my god, the Zealot's trying to go out with the... Uh, the Zerglings actually come behind him and get this around straight away. Oh man, Zell taking a lot of damage, but the second Zell does come out, smacks one of those Zerglings in the face, and a probe coming down as well to help these Zealots out. The probe does provide that little extra damage boost, allows you to, uh, to two-shot those Zerglings with the additional probe hit, but it looks like he's in position to make a Nexus, actually. Very interesting. It's very strange, actually, because Taitu would not be able to get his Sunken down in time. So we would be able to force Zerglings if we kept going for that. And it looks like uh, Taitu has added the 
correct hatchery position now at his natural for a three hatch build. But that means that when it, when this Nexus finishes for Lancer X, um, and presumably he does protect it with cannons, Taitu will be kind of at a deficit uh, going into the mid game until he can get his own third base. He does pick off the probe though. Looks like the probe actually went too far ahead of the zealots. Lancer X perhaps A moving them and not paying it that much attention. And of course probes do actually move faster than the zealots. So a bit of a mistake there, but he is coming in now. He's gonna force a one sunken colony. Man. It should be interesting. Looks like there's going to be a little bit of engagement. The Sunken finally does finish. A lot of these uh, uh, Zealots are actually really bruised, so he's actually going to be have to run away from the uh, one Sunken, which is kind of crazy. But he is pumping Zealots still off of the two gateways, and he hasn't got his gas yet. And Taito has gone a fast layer before Zergon Speed, I believe. And now he's got his Zergon Speed coming. Oh, yes indeed he does. Oh, wait, there's a pylon at the front! Wait a minute, wait a minute! Guys, it's the five minute cannon rush, it's the six minute cannon rush. Lancer X is gonna show the cheese gonna... prince what's up. He's gonna shield battery, maybe. Yeah, I think oh, that's no. more likely it. <laughs> oh, no balls. Okay, it looks oh, like... Uh... Oh man, he really should have built that cannon out the front. <laughs> That would have been so good against the Lurker build, but he needs to be careful of a slow overlord drop as well. Uh, there is actually quite a lot of airspace outside of your main in between the sort of weird natural third that has the, uh, the main ramp going up to it. I mean, uh, Taito isn't really going to be able to move out anytime soon. The thing is, the Hydroden is done now, and the cybernetic score has, has only just started, so Lancer X is super going to be super far behind on the tech, not going to have any mobile detection anytime soon, but he is moving into the natural, half the Zealots fighting the Sunken and the Zerglings, the other half going for as many drone kills as he can, he's actually just going to sack the Zealots to try and do as much economic damage as he can, and he's actually, because it's only one Sunken, it doesn't do enough DPS, he runs past it into the back of the natural, there are a lot of Zerglings, but he's just going to run into this little corner here, maybe get some more drone kills, another drone does fall, well, that's a really nice position he took behind that gas there. Uh, leaving a zealot wall at both sides would put have been fantastic, but one of the, the final zealot does look like it's going to go down. Oh, two more zealots actually sure. suicided. Yeah, I'm not sure that was really worth it in the end of it. And look at Taito just immediately coming for the counter attack. Lancer X has pulled all of his probes. There is a as well. That's a really good wall to make at that last second. He could have died purely to the Zerglings there if he wasn't careful. He focused down one of those gateways and then bust through that. He does have so many Zerglings. He can he's advance like Rex. He's not building a load of cannons again. He's against Tai 2, but not building enough cannons. If this <laughs> ends the way that it may do, then that's entirely the blame. Oh, we're going in with the Zerglings kicks! Here was the problem! He's got a block with the probes! The Zerglings are running through! It looks like he's actually going for a run by three Zerglings run by! The rest of them oh, do pull back! Here. Oh my god. Trouble is, though, the three Zerglings... The three Zerglings aren't going to be able to do absolutely anything in the main, because there's already a cannon covering pretty much every single building, minus the <laughs> core at the bottom. So, yeah, this, for once, the Zergling run by isn't going to do anything. I don't know if Taichi went for an Overlord drop, but he doesn't actually have an Overlord in position. Looks like he's trying to send one now to where the natural is. It's going to take a long time to get down there unless he's going to go Overlord speed. That is yet to be discovered. Three Lurkers Morphin and they've just finished. Will he go for the bust on the front? Uh... What else other Zergling is going to run into cannon in the main? They barely get away, but uh, yeah, they're stuck in between two cannons right now. This is kind of funny. Two lurkers, three lurkers are running down right now. There are two cannons uh, at the front, but a lot of links supporting the zealots are there as well. The Templar Archives is on the way, but no Robo, so if the cannons die, there will oh be God. no detection. He's running in to the cannon range. Can he pick up the cannons? The He's going to target down the lurkers. He's targeting down one of the lurkers. Can he target down the other lurkers? He's targeting down the lurker. The last cannon's going to fall, but the lurkers are all dead. There's only certain things left. And is it going to be enough? Two more cannons are on the way in the mineral line, but only two zealots left. Oh my God. Yeah, plus one hasn't finished on the Zealots yet, so these Zerglings are worth their weight in gold. Another two cannons are trying to go up, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And Lancer X may have been busted with Zerglings again. Oh my god. 
This game is completely over. Another Ooh, Lurker running in. Good. The natural is going to be abandoned. He's got two cannons protecting the main mineral line. But that is not going to last long. Oh I guess God. he's going to... Wait, what? Did he just transfer probe into the Lurker? He did, he did. But they died on the links before the, uh, before the left could even burrow. Oh, oh, I feel man. so sorry for Lanterax here, but it's entirely the fault of not getting enough cannons against I2. Maybe he's regretting the meat. I kill my games. <laughs> It's like, who's gonna might, like who's gonna five fall in a rematch really? But then again, he scouted it first, so he didn't like he didn't hold off the five fall badly. He just held off the follow up, uh, kind of unfortunately. Oh my god, there's even a lurker in the main, but he can't actually do any damage. There's too many cannons. One zealot actually okay. tri tried to run past okay. into the main, but not able to do so. Not sure that one still hasn't here. finished. Oh, I think he actually cancelled plus one on his on his zealots. The drones come in though and send a Petri. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, no he way. didn't even send them back! He's gonna attack with them! <laughs> There's more drones on your way. Oh my god, he's oh my building god. more hatcheries in the main. Tai 2 with the BM. <laughs> the double manor hatchery? No! There's gonna be more. There's gonna be more. There's even an observatory, and that is gonna get sniped down oh, by the left. I've one DT though, and there's no overall. Oh no. No, it's fine. But wait, he could use Lurker Splash. It's no, fine. No, no, no. He's gonna let the hatchery finish and build an overlord from it, and then they'll have an the overlord there, right? They'll be fine. And you know what? The Lurkers aren't actually doing any damage to anything important. They are nearly killing the Robotics facility though. Oh my god, he's using the Lynx as a, as a bait for the splash damage. He actually attacked one of his own Lynx there. <laughs> the Arms comes out, but he's only got two DTs to kill a billion units. The Hatchery is actually going to finish, I think. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's got the Overlord Bearers now, as well. Hold on, Sir X. He's trying to hold on, but it's not enough. <laughs> we see the XD GG. Oh no, Tai 2. Oh man.